Hello, Adam Maurice. Hey, mate, Josie Villain. Good, thanks, mate. Really good. Uh, looking forward to the game tomorrow. Are you excited to come back? Ah, oh, mate, I wouldn't worry about it. You were liked here. I wouldn't expect too much hostility. Uh, of course, you could always cement your legacy at the club that made you if, say, uh, oh, I don't know, you were reluctant to track back. Maybe a loose pass or two. Hello? Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain. Welcome to Season 12, Episode 1 of The Impossible Dream with Barla Town. And today we begin with Champions League qualification, the third qualifying round against Lan of, uh, of uh, Northern Ireland. And that, of course, means the return of the club to Adam Maurice and also Michael Stewart. Two of our former players come back. Uh, so this will be interesting. But before that, I thought we'd uh, begin, as we should do with every season, with a little bit of an update as to exactly where the club stands. Uh, you can see we are now a three-star reputation club, which is good. We're a rich club, which is even better. Um, obviously, I am still the manager. We still have Ewan Dixon as club captain. Um, he's been around forever, came through the academy. I think he does a good job leading the club, certainly off the field if there's a problem. Uh, I tend to be able to send him off to go and deal with it. Brett Broughton is the uh, vice captain. He has good leadership and teamwork as well. He is sort of more a player for uh, for Europe these days um, and also a Welsh international as well. So he could easily um, at some point come in and he's younger as well, only 22, but he could come in and, and be captain without too much of a problem. Montgomery, who we have on loan from Manchester United, he is the key player uh, for this season. I won the kid as well, so it's really, really good to get him back from last season. And of course, Ken Bookley, um is our star prospect. He came through the academy, was it last season or two seasons ago now? He long he been? He's been around for a little while now. Um, but potentially an absolute star for us as well, and only 18. So hopefully he will continue to develop. So that's uh, sort of the club in a nutshell there. Facilities, uh, we should have a look at general so we can see here. Ryan Sears is still um, a legend. He has moved off to Chorley though. He has left the evil empire that is... Um, that is, uh, what's it called, TNF, so that's good. Uh, and then ourselves and Colin Catton are the legends. The icons, Allmark is an icon with uh, Mark Jones, who was a former player before we got here. Burke, Tommy Williamson, Mark Wade, or really our favoured personnel, along with Williams and Boston Brew, who have now left the club, our favoured personnel. Um, interesting to see that Denny Gosset and Henry Jones have left that, despite being on the coaching staff. Uh, so that's a little bit disappointing perhaps um stadium we have not been able to improve it which is a big disappointment um but look at the facilities they've ignored the corporate facilities but the rest of it superb training facilities and we're upgrading those again so they should be uh state-of-the-art by the end of the season to go with the app gareth center the state-of-the-art data analysis facility and our state-of-the-art youth facilities as well and of course we also have uh, the exceptional uh youth recruitment and training so hopefully um at some point, we're going to get uh, a, you know, a, a, a golden generation come through of absolute stars. Records. What records do we have? What records can we break? Obviously, Allmark, with 187 league goals, is leading the way. He could get his 200th league goal this season, though the way he went last season, he's not going to get it this year. Uh, had a very disappointing season, did he, last year. Um other records we could potentially look to break. Um, we, we're on, still on an unbeaten run in the league. Uh, most runs, games without losing. Um, that's just season to season, is it? We're well over 30 anyway on that one. We're, in, we're into the hundreds. Um, but you can see all the other records there. Um, Ken Bookley is our youngest ever player. The youngest ever goal scorer is still Damien Allmark after all these years, uh, which is which is good to see. Um, and of course, transfer window is still open. We haven't yet broken the Joel Tony uh, record from last season yet. Uh, and of course, we did get our record transfer received with we sold Vukovic to Real Betis for 8.5 million last season. Um, so there we go. That is the club as we stand. Uh, finances, I should give you a quick update on that as well. 56 million in the bank. We've still got 34 and a half million to spend. Uh, we've still got about half a mil. We can just less on, on wages. So we have, uh, we have money to spend. And as I said, the window is still open. It's only August 7th. So, um, I suspect we will get one or two players in before the window closes ready for the Champions League group stage. Should we get there? But first of all, we've got to qualify for it. And this is the first leg against Lan. Tiernan Lynch is their manager. He looks a decent manager, maybe not the best coach going around. A very cautious passing style of play. Uh, we can see here, now this is a friendly against Carna Fawn. Stewart did play in this one, uh, but no um, Maurice. But if we look at their last Champions League game, Maurice did play, but no Stewart. Um, so I'm expecting Maurice to play, but maybe not Stewart in this one. We are expecting that sort of a formation. We can see there, it's a very neat looking heat map, isn't it? Almost the perfect square. Um... 
We can see there their passing network and their key passes. It's, temp it's difficult to know whether we should be defending narrow or not because they do, they don't necessarily get uh, uh, chalk on their boots as they say, but they do still use the more or less the width of the pitch. So it's a strange, it's a strange heat map that one. Anyway, this is the team that we're sending out to hopefully uh, get everything off to a good start. Tanis Kovic goes in goal. We'll give you an update on how players are developing here as well. Um, Tanis Kovic is still the number one. Uh, and we really did miss him in the second leg against Manchester City last season, didn't we? Harry Montgomery, he goes at left back for this one. An absolute star he is. Juan Mi is one of the centre backs for this one. He is developing nicely. And we also have Lee Goddard um, going as the second centre back. It is Ignatiewicz as right back. I'm wondering if there is an upgrade to be had at right back, to be honest. But for now, Ignatiewicz is the number one man. It's Quinn, uh, Thomas Quinn, going as the deep line playmaker. And we have the new boy making his debut. Uh, Yen -yen. Um he's already improving. I think he's going to be a good player for us. We have Marcus Wade going uh, down the wide right wing. We have Riola going down wide left on the wing. We have Tommy Williamson as the shadow striker. And we have the great man himself, the amazing Big Mac, Heinz Macmire. He's going up top. Oh, let's go. Now, if you're looking for squad numbers, uh, the, the Armenian is um, is number 15. And Gibbons, who's on the bench, who may make a debut, he's number 16. So that's uh, new squad numbers for new players there. Um, Maurice was in their starting lineup. You may have noticed there. Gomez says, uh, come on, lads, let's keep the run going. That's fine. Let's do that. Some calm, we have faith. And let's see if we can go and put ourselves a step away from the playoff round. And here we go, a brand new season of European football. We have, of course, won two rounds already from the uh, transfer special episode yeah, last time out. Um, no, we've absolutely no trouble at all in those two games. I think Lan could be a little bit more of a difficult proposition. Um... We saw we struggled against Cork City. Was that last season or the season before? Um, so we'll wait and see here. They've got a highlight here. We win that. Ignatiewicz stops Maurice from getting the ball. Macmire picks it up forward to Tommy Williamson. Tommy Williamson goes past one. He's got a man forward there in Riola. Can he pick him out? He keeps going forward himself. Can we get a cross in? He goes to Montgomery. Cross comes in. Big Max there. Flick on to Wade. And Marcus Wade just keeps scoring goals. His fifth of the season, Macmire with the assist. It's a thing of beauty. A wonderful counter-attacking goal from Barla Town. Williamson did all the legwork. Laid it back to Montgomery. Wonderful cross in. Macmire with the flick on. Wade with the finish. Oh, you love to see it. A really good goal. And Marcus Wade, he is looking an absolute star. An absolute star. Williamson's picked himself up a booking now. Over-celebrating the assist to the assist to the assist, perhaps. And we have another highlight here, starting with Lahn. Coulter has it, goes back to Clark, all the way back to the goalkeeper, and it's alright Tommy, uh, who are you? Big Mac, don't worry about closing down the goalkeeper mate, it's fine. Clark, out there to Maurice, I won't boo him, because we, I liked Adam Maurice, I think he was a popular player for us amongst uh, you guys as well, and there's a long range effort, but that is not going to trouble Tennis Kovic in goal. Uh, I did see that... Uh, that Stewart's not on the bench for them, which surprised me a little bit. First look there at uh, the Armenian. I'm just going to call him the Armenian. It's just easier to say. <laughs> uh, Quinn. A little bit of a misunderstanding there, perhaps. Caught in possession by Walker. We're in a little bit of trouble here. We don't want to give up an away goal. Certainly not the one that makes it 1-1. Easy for Tennis Kovic in the end. And let's just maybe give it a concentrate and make sure that... Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a little bit too even of a game, you might say. But I guess the home leg, the main thing here is that we win the game and don't concede a goal. You know, 1-0, we take a lead with us across to Northern Ireland, and that's not going to be the worst. Here goes Adam Maurice. Can we get a tackle in here? Oh, it's a loose pass from Adam Maurice. He did, uh, he did do the loose pass for me. Here we go with Wade. Can he slip a pass in? Gets tackled away. And, well, there we go. They come back the other way. Can we win this back? That's a little bit dodgy defending there, isn't it, from 11? I'm not sure who 11 is. It is Quinn. That was not the best defending. We haven't. It hasn't been the best performance from us, to be honest. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more than this. But, um, yeah, there we go. We're going to say we're not happy with that, boys. Let's kick on second half, please. Riola's looking nervous. Uh, Williamson on a booking. Mate, don't get yourself sent off. Marcus Wade on a booking. Don't get yourself sent off. Ignatiewicz. Likewise, mate, don't get yourself sent off. And Tennis Kovic in goal, looking nervous. That's never a good sign. <laughs> oh, come on, boys. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Let's demand a little bit more here. Let's focus them. 
We do obviously have options on the bench. Um, we've got a corner coming in here. Wade knocks it in. It's headed away. It's the Armenian. Turns. Good ball there for Wade. Wade's in again. Marcus Wade. Oh, I mean, he didn't have much of an angle. But you wonder if he could have done a little bit better. Wade again with the corner. It's headed towards goal. Big Mac over the bar. And this has been a better start to the second half. Let's continue to ask for a little bit more. Riola's not having a good time of things out there on the left. I wonder, we do have Sean Davies on the bench. I wonder if that's something we want to do. Uh, of course, Sean Davies, he was a big, uh, line made a bid for him a few seasons back. It was like over a million pounds, one and a half million pounds, I think it was. And he ended up rejecting their contract. Obviously, I was accepting one and a half million pounds for, uh, for Sean Davies, but... Yeah, he didn't want to go there. Here we go with the Armenian. Let's see if he can do his best Dimov impersonation. That wasn't it. Goes all the way back to Tanis Kovic. Gets it forward again to Quinn. The Armenian tries again. What can he do? Forward there. Well, not really forward. Sideways to Ignatievich. Goddard has it. Cross to one. Me. I don't mind a little bit of possession football. There's a good pass there for Riola. Riola gets past his man. Big Max in the middle. Riola goes himself. Oh, you wonder if there was a good a good cross in there to Big Mac, and that was probably 2-0. Wade with a cross in, headed away. We're not looking too good attacking-wise from corners, are we? It is still pre-season, though, so um, set pieces, especially attacking-wise. We think we did do a little bit of work defensively just to make sure we're ready for these games. We haven't really had much of a chance yet to do anything uh, with attacking sense. There's a good ball in. Oh, it's the Armenian. He's had two cracks at it, and one me has forced it over the line. It is 2-0. It's scrappy as you like. The Armenian there, a little bit unlucky. It was blocked on the line. Look at this. A good volley. It's, he's blocked it once and then it's hit the post. And Juan Mi has scrambled it over. Williamson's in there as well. But Juan Mi has been given the goal. The Armenian, the assist. It's 2-0. And that's a little bit more like it. Um, do we give them some praise here? I'm going to take off Riola. He's not having a good game out there. Let's get Sean Davies on. Um... Wade's looking a little bit tired, but we don't really have another option to play wide right just now. Um, let's get Gibbons a debut as well. Let's get him on maybe for Quinn. I think that's going to be his role on the team. Um, Gibbons is sort of he is sort of more of a of a backup to Quinn, but I think we saw last season that we probably did need that little bit of extra depth in Europe. There's a call. Oh, Davies is still there for Big Mac. Big Mac can't quite finish it off, but already Sean Davies has looked more dangerous than Riola did. Another corner, Wade, to the back post. It's headed away, was it? I thought Juan Mi has gone for a knockdown there. But are we going to get ourselves caught on the break here? We've done a good job getting back. And the Armenian has got himself sent off. You or... No, he hasn't. Just a yellow. Well, I'll tell you what, he's got away with one there. That looked very, very stampy to me. We'll give him some praise. Can we get ourselves a third goal? We haven't killed the tie off here, have we? But we have, it looks like, prevented the own, uh, the own goal, the uh, the away goal. So we'll take that. A much more even game than I was hoping for, I've got to say. But 2 0, job done. Uh, and on we go now to the second leg. So there we go. Clinical finishing the difference at the race course ground. The Armenian and Richie Gibbons make their debuts. Uh, he did look relatively impressive, apart from the step. <laughs> <laughs> the stampy tackle, but they, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's not a bad way to start things off. Uh, we are looking to loan in this guy here as a right wing option. Um, so I did say I was hoping to get somebody in. It looks as though that's going to go through as long as he agrees to come to us, which is good. Uh, we do have uh, a wag, the first WAGS assignment of the season. I'll play through that and then we'll come back for the second leg. We've got one foot in the next round, but we need both feet there, obviously. Duffed, has the new guy from Chelsea shown up yet? He has. What do you reckon? Yeah, he looks pretty good, doesn't he? Hello? I'm sorry, it's Das who? Das Wolfsberger? Tommy Williamson? Sorry, mate, not for sale. I'm sorry, how much? Okay, well, welcome back, and look at that bid we got from Tommy Williamson. 19.25 million pounds. We also had a bid come in from Manchester City. Less money, but he wanted to leave, thankfully. Um, you and Dixon, club captain, was able to talk him or convince him he wants to stay. That is obviously a lot of money for Tommy Williamson. The problem that we have, and you can see he's still wanted by a number of clubs, is that to replace him, it's it's more or less impossible for us. We could afford, obviously, a big transfer fee, especially if we were to get, say, 20 million for Williamson. The problem is wages. We just can't afford to pay the wages of a player that is as good or better than Tommy Williamson. Um... 
and that's that's the problem that we have. The actual bit itself is 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 amazing, and you know I feel a little bit silly knocking it down. You can see there his preferred choice is Manchester City. So if they come in with a similar bid, we may struggle to hold on to him. Um, but yeah, it's a massive, massive money. Now we did as I, I panic <laughs> that we might lose him. We have made a signing. Matteo Fressi has come in from Chelsea on loan for the year. You can see we're paying him sixteen point five grand a week. Not bad for a backup. I actually don't think he's going to be a backup. I think he might actually relegate Tommy Williamson to the bench because you can see here he is a very, very good striker indeed. Um, good pace, good off the ball movement, good vision, good finishing, decent enough first touch. Composure is fantastic. Good flair as well. I'm thinking he might be the new partner for top for uh, Big Mac in uh, in Europe when we play the two up top in our sort of standard European formation. So I'm really, really happy to have him in. Um, he was on loan in the Premier League at Portsmouth, at, uh, sorry, at Portsmouth, at Brentford, at, try again, at Bournemouth last season. And uh, yeah, did okay. Um, he's not really played a game in the Chelsea first team, but played a little bit in, in lower leagues in, in uh, Italy as well. Looks a good player. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to see what he can do. Now, before we get to this second leg, we do have, of course, the Wags' first assignment against newly promoted Clendundo uh, in the Welsh League Cup to catch you up on. So let's go see how that went. Ewan Dixon smashed us into the lead. Ben Evans added a penalty before Dan Robson played in Allmark to make it 3-0 at halftime. Clendundo pulled one back, but we won the tie. So there we go, a good performance from the Wags. We did put out a relatively strong team, just basically because newly promoted away from home. I wasn't completely sure what we were going to get, but a good, uh, good job. It was fantastic to see Allmark putting away that chance. That's hopefully, that's him at his best when he does that. Um, but yeah, it was a good performance. We did give a couple of the other youngsters, Bookley and Garmi, a game off the bench in the second half. Um, but yeah, all in all, a good performance there. We do have our tie for the next round, and it is uh, Flint Town, who are a lower league team again. Um, and it's at home this time, so you would suspect we should be able to win that, win that game fairly comfortably. That brings us, of course, now to this second leg. We are the favourites. We have a 2-0 lead. We should be able to see this through, but you never know, do you? They're, again, a still a cautious passing team. Uh, we won't waste too much time on this because we did just play them, but we have the analysis report from the first leg, um, so we can see how they played there, kind of how we were expecting them to play, to be honest, um, so we can see all their ins and outs there. And this is the team that we are now sending out for the second leg. We're going to, uh, I mean, a little bit of protecting our lead, a little bit of just getting back into the habit of playing in our European formation. So Tennis Kovic goes in goal. Juan Me Goddard and Tony comes in uh, to first choice defender, I think, for this season in place of O'Halloran. Um, Big, big threat in the air, so let's hope he can get on the end of uh, of some free kicks, as well as defending well. Ignatiovic down the right, Montgomery down the left, Brewerton as a defensive midfielder with Quinn and the Armenian in front of him. It's Big Mac and Williamson, maybe for the last time in Europe, partnering each other. Let's see what we can do. So they have come out the same way again. Stewart is on the bench for them this time, uh, and Maurice is obviously starting as well. Um, what do we want to say to this? Pick up where you left off. First leg means nothing now. Make sure you win this one, boys. Some calm, we have faith. And yeah, let's hope we put in a good European away performance here. I think an away goal should just about kill it off. I wouldn't back us to concede four goals and lose a tie. But uh, yeah, there we go. Um, I should have been meaning to update you in the, uh, during the first leg there. But goal of the season from last season update. The Norrington Davies strike is so far at time of recording the goal of the season. I think 57% of the vote he has. Um, it was a wonderful scissor kick volley at the back post. So I'm not surprised that that was the one you guys have voted for. The Armenian to take the corner. Ball in. It's there and Brewerton. Sticks the header away, a first goal of the season for him, and that should be that. 18 minutes in, 1-0 up, 3-0 in aggregate. They need four goals now to beat us with our away goal. And good ball in from uh, from the Armenian. He is, he is a bit of a tower, so ideally we want him in the middle, but he's also a good free kick taker. And if Bruton's going to put headers like that away, then that's okay. We can live with that, can't we? Here we go. I don't know if we will. We will probably make some subs second half, but um, we might give Gibbons a little bit more game time here. Um, like I say, the main reason for wanting to play like this is just to get the team in the habit of, of playing like this. It also changes things up a little bit so we don't get too predictable. Montgomery on a booking is maybe a little bit problematic. Um, we do have Norrington Davies on the bench, so we might look to protect... Ooh! Tennis Kovic makes a good save. We might look to protect Montgomery from a red card here, just so we have him in the next, uh, for you know, available for the next round. 
Um, we yeah, we don't we don't ideally want to be without our wonder kid for that one. Um, but yeah, Yamaguchi is back from injury as well, so again, it might be an opportunity to get him a little bit of game time, get a bit of match sharpness up. Um, I forget what his injury was. It wasn't anything too major, but obviously he's going to be down a little bit of match fitness just for the fact he's missed a bit of preseason. Um, what do you want to say? It's got to be an assertive, don't get complacent, doesn't it? Uh, one, me. A little bit more from you, please, mate. Montgomery, don't get yourself sent off, please. And Tommy Williamson, does he know that the Chelsea guy might be there here to replace him? Prove me wrong, Tommy. Prove me wrong. Uh, ideally, we don't want him to, to go off to Manchester City or anywhere, but like I say, just covering our backsides a little bit by getting in uh, the, the Chelsea guys at Fressy. I have to learn it. I have to learn his name yet, but um, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think he's a very, very good signing, and obviously he's not available for this one. We haven't got him registered, but he should be able to be registered for the next tie. Um, and I think he and Big Mac up top has a lot of potential, and then we have Tommy Williamson to come off the bench, or we can play Tommy Williamson as an attacking midfielder even, um, which might be something worth experimenting with. Uh, I should take... I forgot. What an idiot I am. Too busy talking away and I forgot to take him off. All right, well... Let's get Tommy Williamson off. There's no point. Uh, we don't need two men up top. So we'll do that. And unbelievable. I can't believe I've done that. Can't believe I've done that. Well, good thing we kept Norrington Davies, isn't it? He will be starting the first leg of the next qualifying tie. Hopefully that's not going to come back and bite us too badly. Nor Norrington Davies is still a Welsh international. He's still in the Welsh squad. He's still a decent player. Um... So we, we don't lose too much, but I, what an idiot. Anyway, we have got through. Let's not beat ourselves up too much. Hard work. They were a decent team, weren't they? Um, what do we say to that? Don't let that go to your heads. No, let's say you got away with one there, boys. Need to be better. So first leg triumph helps Bala Town pass Lan. Uh, we're into the next round, and we have got CSKA Sofia in the playoff round. That doesn't look too bad. Bulgarian team. Um, not that one. We probably want to look at players, don't we? Do they have anybody of note here? We've already got a couple, got a brief scouting on some of them, it looks like. Uh, okay, so they don't look anything particularly special. Famous last words, he looks decent. Um, actually, he looks quite good. But, yeah, how old is he? Do we want to sign him? 22. Scouts don't like him, but I tell you what, I think I like him. Um, let's just add him to the shortlist, shall we? And... 2.2 million, but I tell you what, a decent player. Uh, but this, so there we go. That's that it does that does look very winnable, doesn't it? You'd, you'd like to think we can get past them, and uh, of course, you idiot Montgomery. I, I take equal blame for that, but still. But there we go. That is it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think of the new guy. Um, haven't got any word yet if the Spurs wing is going to come in or not. So we'll still wait and find out that. And we'll be back next episode. We'll get the Premier League season underway. Um, and then we'll be back for both legs against CSKA Moscow. We're at home first without Montgomery. Hopefully we'll get the job done. Take care.